Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at a spatial reasoning question that we like to call rotation. <laughs> uh, sorry about the joke. Hayden made me do it. So in this question type, you're given a shape on the left and it's your job to find out a shape that matches it out of the five on the right. Now, the only thing that's happened to that shape is that it's been rotated. The other four shapes have actually been flipped. So you need to avoid the mirrored shapes. So let's take a look at what we've got here and take a look at our first piece of advice when going about these questions. So looking at this shape on the left here, which I'm pointing to on the screen, you can see that it's got a generic shape and we need to try and get clues from that shape and the way it's arranged to help us find it on the right. And the way we do that is we build a base. So for this one, the base is quite obvious. I'll build my base here. This is the base of my shape. And now I can see that the overhang of the shape goes to the right of the base. And that's going to be really important when we're checking the other shapes to see which one's the exact same. So let's take a look at A to begin with. Now it's important to say on your test paper, you'll have it physically in front of you. And we can't recommend enough moving that paper around to get your base level to where you're looking at it. So to try and match that up to make it easier for you. On the screen, I'm going to draw my base in. So I can see my base actually would be here. Bit of an awkward angle, but if we rotated the paper, or in this case, I'll rotate my head to have a look. Hopefully you can see how, here's the base, and actually the overhang goes to the left. So it can't be A, that's been mirrored. Our shape overhangs to the right. So we're gonna use that technique now to go through the rest quite quickly. Let's take a look here. Our base is now there, and it overhangs to the left of the base. That's not our shape. Look at this one now in the middle C. Now, this one's upside down, so I can't move my head upside down, but you'd have the paper and you'd shove it right around just like that to make it really easy for yourself. But what you should notice with this shape, the base actually does go to the right for the overhang. So C is the answer. Now, in the paper, you can write down C and move on, but I'm just going to prove that the other two don't work. Here's D's base and it overhangs to the left, doesn't match up and there's E's base, and that one also overhangs to the left. So rule number one for tackling these question types is find a base for your shape, get something to work from, i.e. right or left, pick a feature of the shape, and then try and match it up. Okay, let's take a look at another question. Now, spatial reasoning can be tricky. The idea of these questions is for you to use your mind's eye and imagine that shape moving. Now, of course, you can move your paper, as I mentioned before, but just start to practice rotating that shape in your mind. Let's do it now, the shape on the left. Imagine that triangle. Let's look at the features. We've got a black shaded bit in the top right. We've got a line down the middle. Now, just imagine this shape starts to rotate. Imagine it rotates 180 degrees. Would that black area here still be on the right hand of the shape? It wouldn't. It would have rotated around to the bottom left. So hopefully just getting that practice in, you can start to draw to practice what the shape might look like. It would actually look something like that on the screen. Now, doing that at the start might again help you when you're finding the shape on the right. Having two angles to work from where you know the shape looks like that, might just help you with deduction, getting rid of those answers that are wrong and actually finding the right one. So let's use these shapes now we've got on the left to try and find our answer on the right. We can see straight away it's not A because that does not match the rotation we've just made ourselves. B, can that work? Well, if we take a look at the original shape and rotate it slightly anti-clockwise, you can see that the, bl uh, the black shaded bit should be there and it's not, so it's not B. Looking at C, again, look at our base down here. The black shading is on the left now because we've rotated it. If our base is here, the black shading should be on the left and it's not, so it's not C. And slowly by deduction, we're down to two already. So is it D or is it E? Now let's compare D to this one at the bottom. The shading's on the right. Our shading should be on the left when it's rotated, so it's not D and we're left with E. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope that's the answer. We'll put E down, but we'll just make sure now. If this is our base, is the black shading on the left? Yes, it is. It matches up, we'll put E, and we can move on to the next question. So on the screen now, we've given you a shape on the left-hand side, and we want you to have a go matching up with one of the five shapes on the right. Now, before you do that, let's just have a quick recap of those techniques we talked about. 
Try and find a base for your shape and then look at the features and how they relate to that base. Does it move to the right? Is there a circle to the left? Is there some shading at the top? Those can help you to draw comparisons to the shapes you're trying to find. And also, if you can just rotate that shape in your mind's eye, practice moving it without actually moving your paper, and draw a shape that's 180 degrees rotated, you have two reference points now to work from, which can really help you find the right shape. So, have a look at the one on the, on the screen. I want you to try and find an answer. And if you get one, if you think you've found the shape which is exactly the same as the one on the left, but has just been rotated, let us know in the comment section down below. Hopefully you found that video useful. And if you did, be sure to subscribe to our page because we've got loads of videos for all the other question types to help you. See you next time.